Hello, awesome readers. Welcome to story time for all kids. Today's story is The Perfect Pumpkin in the Patch, written and created by Storytime for All Kids. I can't wait to see all of the children that will visit our patch on the farm today. Thanksgiving is almost here and I want to spend this day with a friend. I hope I get picked, said Penny. I'm so excited that we're going to the pumpkin patch today, Leah squealed. Yeah, me too, shouted Brian. My mom said that it's almost Thanksgiving and I can bring home any pumpkin that I choose. I'm going to get the biggest pumpkin that I can hold. The kids loaded the school bus to take their first field trip to the farm. Children, we're going to have a lot of fun today on the farm. We'll pet all of the animals, learn about planting vegetables, eat roasted corn, drink hot apple cider, and everyone will pick a pumpkin before we leave, said Mrs. Franklin. Remember, the size of the pumpkin doesn't matter. It's the joy that it gives you when you find it. Oh, yippee! I can hear the bus coming closer to the farm, Penny said with glee. I know someone is going to pick me today, just in time for Thanksgiving. I'm a good friend and a good size for any kid to take home. Penny was so excited that today was finally here. Earlier that week, Farmer Jess had dusted each pumpkin and placed them in a row according to its size. When the school bus arrived, Penny and her pumpkin pal Pancho decided to move to the front row of the pumpkin crop. Penny believed that this would help the children see them best when it was time to choose a pumpkin. Penny, what if we don't get picked? I'll feel so awful. What about you? asked Pancho. Penny paused to think for a little while. She had never thought about how she would feel if she didn't get picked. Penny didn't know if she had any feelings about that. She just always hoped and believed the best at all times. With that kind of thinking, there is no room for feeling awful. Pancho, I will keep thinking the best and that I'm going to my forever home today, just in time for Thanksgiving. The kids were having a grand time on the farm. They ate candy apples, drank cider, and played many games with each other. The smell of the farm was a mixture of sweet cotton candy and muddy dirt after the rain. The children laughed, skipped, and made great memories. There was only one problem. There was a dark cloud glooming over the farm. The kids hoped and prayed that the rain would stay away. The kids were so excited to walk among all of the pumpkins. Each pumpkin was unique and different. Some were spotted, bumpy, smooth, big, and small. Okay, children, said Mrs. Franklin. I hope you all are having a great time here at the pumpkin patch today. The time has come for us to pick our very own pumpkin to take home. Pick only one pumpkin and meet us all back here in 15 minutes. The kids are going to pick us. The kids are going to pick us. Penny cheered and said so happily. One by one, each child picked their favorite pumpkin. Suddenly, a light sprinkle of rain began to fall. Leah yelled to Brian and the other students, It's raining! You guys better pick a pumpkin fast! One by one, each pumpkin quickly disappeared. Mrs. Franklin told the students to hurry because she could hear the sound of thunder roaring in the distance. Brian really wanted a pumpkin, but he was having a hard time making a decision. Leah, I see so many pumpkins that I like, but now I feel rushed and I can't decide. What should I do? Just pick one, Leah yelled while running with her pumpkin towards the bus where Mrs. Franklin was waiting with the other students. Mrs. Franklin could see that Brian was having a difficult time choosing a pumpkin. She walked over to Brian to help him. This looks like a great pumpkin for you, Brian. What do you think? I don't know. I can't decide, Brian said in a sad voice. 
The thunder roared louder because it was now starting to rain a little harder than before. Brian, we really have to leave now. I'm sorry, said Mrs. Franklin. Okay, I'll just wait until next year, I guess, said Brian. No, no, wait, Penny yelled as Brian ran towards the bus. Pick me, Brian, pick me. Brian looked at Penny the Pumpkin several times, but he thought it was too big, spotty, and bumpy. He just wanted the perfect pumpkin. Brian was quiet the entire ride back to school while his friends laughed and compared their pumpkins. I'm really sorry that you couldn't make a decision, Brian. I will share my pumpkin with you, said Leah. Brian thought that was very kind of his friend, but he replied, No, it's not the same, but thanks anyways, Leah. By the time the kids arrived back to school, the rain had stopped. It was time for dismissal, so everyone grabbed their belongings and headed home for the day. On Brian's ride home, he told his mom all about his field trip and how he had a hard time picking the perfect pumpkin. Brian's mom listened to him and hoped to cheer him up a bit. She said, Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry that you couldn't find the perfect pumpkin today, but I'm happy that you had a great time with your friends. Just then, Brian's mom had an idea. Mom, you missed our turn to go home, said Brian. I know, son. I have a little surprise for you, Brian's mom said while smiling from ear to ear. After driving for just a little while, Brian realized that they were close to the farm again. Mom, are we going where I think we're going? asked Brian. Yes, said Brian's mom. Brian was so happy. He knew that his mom would help him find the perfect pumpkin. And this time, there was no rain to make him rush. Brian looked and he looked. And finally, he saw Penny the pumpkin. She had always been there in front of Brian, but he missed her because he was looking for the perfect pumpkin. Penny wasn't your average looking pumpkin. She wasn't really orange. She was slightly harder to hold and she wasn't really smooth to the touch. I hope he picks me. I really want to find my forever home for Thanksgiving, Penny thought. Brian, my son, I want you to choose any pumpkin that you like and remember this with your pumpkin and all things. There is no such thing as perfect. We are all just like these pumpkins. We are all different colors, shapes, sizes, and we all have imperfections. But to someone, we are just the right blessing. Brian glanced over each pumpkin once more and picked up Penny the pumpkin as his perfect pumpkin. His mom helped him carry her to the car because she was quite heavy. Brian was happy and Penny was happy too. This was going to be the best Thanksgiving for them both. The End